Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and welcome to part one of our S Pen tips for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. We have case reviews and a lot more. In this video, we're gonna cover three things for part one of our S Pen tips. How to customize your air command. Second, we're gonna show you air actions, such as taking a screenshot. Pretty cool, right? Finally, we're gonna walk you through screen off memo, which is a really useful tool. All right, let's just go ahead and jump right in. First up is Air Command. So I'm using a Retro Air Command here. To customize this, open up GoodLock, and you're going to have to download the Pentastic application. So open up GoodLock. Here on the bottom, tap on Family. And here you'll see Pentastic. Just tap on Pentastic to download it. Mine is already downloaded, so we'll open the application. The current Air Command I'm using is Retro. And let's go through the different ones. Here is the default air command. There is compact, line, circle, and retro. I'm gonna go ahead and select compact. Here you have additional options, adjusting the background, brightness, and blur. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it as is. Next up, you can customize the pointer. Here's the default, basic, heart, a couple of characters, and I selected mine and customized it with our Asian Geek Squad logo. You can resize it here and also mark the hover point. This is important, especially if you're using an odd shape so you know exactly where the pointer is. Finally, there's sound. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave mine's at default, but feel free to check out the rest. And there's also a double tap shortcut. If you turn this on, you can select an S Pen feature or an application to launch once you double tap while pressing the home button. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mines off because I accidentally double tap a lot. And don't forget, you can further customize this by just tapping on the add icon. And from here, you can select which applications and shortcuts that you want to use here on your air command. Let's go ahead and just remove translate and leave that as is. So that's the first part, how to customize your air command. Next up, let's go over air actions. Two of the most useful things I use while I'm using an S Pen are air actions. So basically you just draw a less than arrow and you do it from a safe distance. You don't actually come close to the screen. All right, let me show you here at an angle. Next up is taking a screenshot. Now you have the screenshot action and you can scroll down. Oh. Continue with scroll capture and further customize this with S Pen writing and download it or share. I just showed you two of those. Let me go ahead and show you the rest. So go under settings, scroll down, and tap on advanced features, tap on S Pen, tap on air actions. Here you have the five available air actions and you have an additional one of holding down the pen to open the camera, which we can do right now. You can customize every single one of this. You can customize this action of holding the pen down in case of a particular application you want and similar to the rest of these air actions. In case you don't want to use screen write and you want to launch, for example, live messages, you can go ahead and select that here. So that's part two, air actions. To start screen off memo, all you have to do is remove your S Pen and go ahead and start writing on the screen. That's it, don't push the button, don't tap the home screen, just go ahead and start writing. Here on the upper left, you have three different icons. One is the color of the pen. I'll go ahead and leave it as blue. This one changes the size of the pen. So very fine to, I would consider normal sized pen. I wish there were thicker ones. And the final one is erase. So if you want to erase something, tap that third icon. Then you have to tap the pencil. Once you're done, tap save. And now that is located in your Samsung notes. Here are our Samsung notes. I did a screen off memo earlier. And now you can go ahead and open this. Now we've opened this memo. You can add a title. Here on the bottom, once you turn off reading mode, you can use your pen again if you want to keep writing on the screen. And this final menu icon, you can change the background color. 
And in addition to background color, you have additional options here, page template, full screen, tag, save file as, finger drawing, favorite, share, and delete. All right guys, so in this video, we customized the error command, we showed you error actions, and we went over screen off memo. If you guys have any questions about the S Pen or the S22 Ultra, don't forget to leave us a comment down below and subscribe for future content. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.